um, we have a situation at a school in the Midlands where um, an 11 year old child who's very intelligent, due to go to grammar school, uh, high school next year, um, has done a lot of charity work with his family, has a lot of interest in you know, international um, uh, events and uh, affairs, and, and is asked a question um, amongst other children in the class, um, what would you do if you had all the, all the money in the world, what would you do with it? And his response was, I would give arms, as in, you know, charity arms, ALMS, um, to uh, the oppressed. The teacher then assumes, misinterprets that and assumes that he said, he said arms, as in guns or bombs or whatever. And without pausing to actually clarify whether her understanding was correct, um, has then gone on to uh, uh, report, uh, make a prevent referral which has gone to the police and other agencies. Um, and so the concern here is, why did that happen? Is it because there are racial and or religious stereotypes at play, which caused that a referral to be made? And if so, who's at fault for the racial and religious stereotypes? It is our position that the fault doesn't, does not actually lie with the teacher because teachers have a very difficult job as it is. In the current economic climate, teachers um, are struggling to even do their own job of teaching. To prevent duty places a duty on teachers and other frontline um, uh, staff um, uh, in the public sector to police the people that they are in contact with. And so in the, con in the context of teachers, the prevent duty requires teachers to police their students. And that is a very dangerous formula in itself because the school's meant to be a safe place for debate and discussion as it is. And further to that, in implement and prevent duty, the risk factors that they have um, set out for um, the people who are required to um, uh, implement the prevent duty, they themselves um, play into racial and religious stereotypes. So you have a situation where not only are religious and racial stereotypes um, uh, pandered uh, in, uh, on, on a significant level by mainstream media in many shapes and forms, but then you've got this program which requires people, uh, teachers to police, which also uh, uh, reads st straight into those sorts of uh, narratives as well. And it's a recipe for disaster. So our position in summary is that this program is, this is the first time this has happened, it's one of many examples and it's about time that this um, came to an end um, that this program was scrapped.